Alexander the Great, they were worshipping their god Zeus inside the Phoenician temple. So there is no Greek temple in Baalbek, but there is a Greek influence of art later through the Roman period. Mm. 64 BC, the Romans arrived to the Orient under Julius Caesar time. After the excavation we discovered in 57 AD, they started building three temples for their holy family, which is the sun god Jupiter, the wine god Bacchus, the love or the beauty goddess Venus. Imagine that took them 250 years, 100,000 slaves without finishing. Ten generations of slaves killed building the temple. Even so, the temple were used for 50 years as ceremony once a year. The slaves were two kinds, 90% or more, a prisoner of war from all over the Roman Empire, 10% the Greek and local artist. So you discover everywhere the Greek, the Oriental influence into a Roman construction. Mm. To put the stones up high, like the pyramids in Egypt, they built ramps of dirt, start rolling slowly up high the pieces. They were done up in position, later they cleared the dirt away. And there is two kinds of stones, sir. More than 95% hard limestones, locally quarries, mountain beside. Granite columns brought from Upper Egypt as one. How? Down the Nile on boats, on the Mediterranean Sea, from the Lebanese coast to Baalbek, they were building two parallel walls, rolling the columns over for 300 kilometers around the mountains on the valley level. 188 columns brought that way. It was a single piece each, 50 tons weight. You see the broken in pieces, earthquakes happened here. For a century AD, the three temples are transformed into three Byzantine churches. From 7th to 13th century, big Roman city of 250,000 people underneath the present Baalbek. Discovered a long courtyard, we call it a waiting court, before and after the Roman ceremony. At the same time, down the stairs showing you the ancient Roman city level. We want to find in the future excavation as soon as they have enough money to pay the owners. The remains of the Umayyad Mosque of the 8th century, uh, what you see 10 years ago, restorations. I said the uh, remains because it was much wider for 10,000 prayer at the same time. Uh, not the minute over there, not finished restoring it yet. I assure you, not only in the Roman Empire, in all over the world, there is no single temple of 1,000 feet length. This uh, Jupiter temple unique. And the only proof for all archaeologists that Rome, it was the Roman political capital. They were running this far, worshipping their gods, offering their sacrifices. But this temple you will see composing four sections. This is the first one there, the front door. It was the largest staircase, 165 feet wide. 12 big granite columns above. See the wood roofing, mosaic floor. And to the both sides of that, two towers for the Roman guard. The staircase guard is not the original one. Is restored in 1903 with the German mission. Emperor Justinian for Agia Sophia Church in Istanbul in Turkey now. Mosaic open to the sun as an amphitheater. Nowadays for any government, any official ceremony, open with the national music. So this is a place for the God. With what they open it? With their famous religious dance. They call it Vestal Virgin Dance. Mm. Everybody watching, then everybody continuing to the third courtyard for their animals' sacrifices. To the both sides, there is four rectangular etc. One, two, that side, same two back here for putting statues in the niches up and down. But as you see to the both sides, at the 13th century, by the Mamluks of Egypt for sheltering or protecting soldiers, the whole place was prepared against two major dangers, Mongolia and the Crusaders. So the front was uh, during the Mongolian time with Damascus. The front during the Crusaders time was uh, the kingdom along the Lebanese seashore. Uh, but they never come this far, both of them. 
We are saved by accident. Balbek always in the language of words was the second line defense. It was a fort, but no battles. Right. Otherwise, you could see a lot of damaging. So there is six rooms it's over here, uh, like the one up there for the Roman priests. And to every room inside the wall used to be a staircase leading up to the room. But I see after the first and the second courtyard, the third one for the same Roman temple. Jupiter. So much bigger inside, isn't it? It looks, it looks small you from seen, the outside. You have seen nothing yet. You're still at the beginning. Mm. <laughs> okay. Two altars right there to the center, and two rectangular bases down the right and down the left for purifying animals. A priest head into the water, then his hand on the face of the animal, and the animal already purified. Uh -huh. Eighty-four round was roofed over, always center open to the sun. Our friend, the twelve chapel, you see that in two shapes. Rectangular and semicircular for putting 250 statues in the niches up and down and all over. And all that damaged at the fourth century by the Byzantine with the two altars to build the church. Also, the church destroyed, sir. Statues of what? Women? Of God and goddesses. Gods, gods and goddesses. Uh, one of the most <coughs> emperor called Julian the Apostate. Apostate means the emperor was a Christian, but when he built the public, he was big enough, but they were building the empire only for three years. After his death, the church was rebuilt. After that, the church moved to the city of Baalbek. So what you see now to the center, restorations work at the same style as the Roman two altars that are still missing too many stones. Underneath and around the whole court, there is the three underground tunnels. It was the Roman stable where they were putting their animals down. There is Latin and there is the Greek answer. When they were able to translate, they were able to know the extra. I'll tell you how. You, you see on the top of the stone a date. Sometimes, Roman priest name, but in very special occasion, like the day of the Roman Empire, as you see there and there, they were starting by the name of Jupiter. You see G O M H in Latin, the name of Jupiter, the God, the Master, the God of Caesar, who helped with this. We ask you Caesar to do that thing and that thing for us. Something similar nowadays, like an open letter in the newspaper for the king or the president. And this is the contrary of the ordinary one. Ordinary can all read and understand. This one, every letter, a beginning of a word. Sometimes down below every four letters, a beginning of what all used to be dedicated to Jupiter. Of the Temple of Baal, 1000 BC. So the Romans were damaging Baal Temple to build of the foundation, you see, the great Jupiter Temple. The Romans were using the same place, worshipping the same God. The Phoenician Baal became the Roman Jupiter. Not only in Baalbek, wherever they go, they took the local God and they call it Jupiter. What kind of animal they were sacrificing? That depends on the people, whether they were poor or rich. You see the Phoenicians, like the Phoenicians. Also, but in the three occasions, they sacrificed the human beings. But when they built the temple, they put a child body down the foundations. Some don't have an earthquake. Third one, they have an invasion. And they have chosen by turn among the nobles' family and the firstborn, whether it was a boy or a girl. So sometimes they sacrifice one day old, sometimes 50 years old. The Roman priest named family name. Around the middle of the second century AD, we are very sure, because of the Roman emperor name in Latin, Hadrian or Hadrian. He was a great builder over even England. You have the famous Hadrian on the wall there. So we are memorizing his death. He already built for the empire and for Balbek. Now I'm going to show you around the wall of the base motif after the Greek mythology. The best is two. Let me show you that. This is the first one to show you. The journey of the gods along the seas, Neptune, the god of sea with other gods and goddesses, and to her left, Hercules, the god of power, right, Medusa, the goddess of bad hair, hair into snakes. Best one over here. The goddess of bad hair. <laughs> but here, the birth of Venus or Aphrodite from a seashell, and two heads, the left, Aegea, Roman goddess of health, damaging one, Minerva, goddess of wisdom. And here, you could see, sir, the great engineering war, this side, to the millimeter line, symmetrical to the other side. Both sides alike. That's quite All the grand columns around you was down are restored back by the government before the Lebanese Civil War. Even the three there, the facade, the keystone above was cedar wood roofing. The central column proving too that the columns were brought from it in one piece. The cedar wood lasted how long? But the cedar wood was there for how long? A long time. From the beginning till the 300 to the, at the beginning of the 4th century. When the Byzantine take it off with the mosaic for different places. Wow, that's a long time. Long time. Yes, you can say uh, 57 AD, yeah. 300 for the, about nearly 400 years. So that up there was a, a wooden lintel for 400 above years. Everything. Above everything. But let me tell you about it. You see the dome 
that the keystone covering with the stone, but above the stone was the cedar wood. Wow. Covering that, uh, because this is the, the inner, inner chapel. But to this there was other columns, like the other ones. So all that was above it, uh, cedar wood. Impressive. It must have looked amazing, must have. Yeah, kind of like a house. Yeah. <laughs> no, it would well, it's cedar, it's isn't it? A size so. unique. Yeah. As the station used to be only two arts. Greek for all the accident, then Oriental. For all the, all the art, from here to China, everything Oriental. If you go to Greece, you see purely Greek art. Rome, pure Roman art. Egypt, pure. But all the ancient world gathered in Balbi. That gives you an idea of the scale. Look at that woman up there. Yeah. Sir, down here, Phoenician time, 1000 BC, but not as a temple. Small primitive room for the pilgrim of the god Baal and corridor for their animals. We used to cover it every summer, July, August, for that old Balbic festival. We built a stage on the steps. The whole area was covered with wood for 5,000 chairs. Lebanese folk dance taking place here, Bali, Opera, etc. Then here in Bacchus. We were the first in the Middle East. Balbic festival started in 1955. Then we used to have 25 to 27 nights so through two months. Now we're going to make mini festival, five, six nights, because we are afraid to come because of the war in Syria. And there is, facing the uh, temple of Baku, there is uh, a small uh, room for the guards, which was my father in it. So the whole staircase composed nine pieces. So they brought a huge and they make, But this is babies comparing to the size of the other video. You will see, you will see 400 and 800 tons single pieces. To prove nothing new under the sun. After 2,000 years, we at any government, right and left. Right people with, mm. left against. In my 2000, they don't build their staircase in a way. They're the priest. We start with his right leg with the first step, finishing with the same right leg above. They were right people with the God, not against. But who dare to be against God 2000 years ago? <laughs> so every 13th step is a solid piece, one solid piece. I'm taking it from here, sir. I'm taking it from this line to the end, the whole high part piece. Mm. And now to make the whole, the whole bit. But there's nothing, can I ask you more? No uh, JCBs or <laughs> Caterpillar. Mountain and public, zoom it all the way around first and do it. Okay. Go all the way around. From the columns and round to your left. Turn around, yes. Do the back and the other. All the way around. I used to be an old friend to Mr. Kodak, and I brought him with Mr. Digital. Hey. I want to keep him smiling. Mr. Kodak. These are original, right? No, no, <laughs> it's done during the festival, they put something. Oh. But they didn't used to... Here, the fourth and the last court, Holy of Holies. They pray there, and they come back here to announce to the pilgrim down below, their God of Gods already accepting their sacrifices. 20,000 of people, one whole of Bacchus temple you will see there, so small for a few ones. Like the six famous column of Balbek, sir, Used to be 54 all the way around. See, everywhere the base is the ground. All this was left over with cedar wood and the floor the day because, because of three reasons, only six remains. For the century AD, the Byzantine cut columns to continue building the church. Fortification around the whole building. The north quakes are big piece everywhere. So the six never been fallen. The only thing happened in 1936, they were putting cement and the small stone to the bases and to the top, simply protection. 22 meters high or 70 feet. Two meters 20 or seven feet diameter, three pieces. In every piece, three little holes for the bronze dolls to know. You will see them at 2,000 years of sun, giving you this golden color on the covers. The tallest, the greatest ever built, being a building of seven floors. And in order to protect this holy section you are, they were, they were putting around the three big sides of it, 24 rocks, 400 tons each. Let, let us take a look. Congratulations. <laughs> Imagine our friend from where we came in to this wall, one temple for Jupiter. 
got it. Now we're going down the stairs to show you the double jumps. You know, seen 400. I will show you 830 tons. Here's a column there, Peter. Look, the largest Roman columns ever built and tallest. I told till now there are three weight and two more, which is still, but didn't show yet. 400, 830, 1200, but 2000 years ago to move any weight, simply question of more number to fold into the piece according to its size, and more numbers of slaves and elephant, elephant from India, and other North Africa was Roman province. So in the hall you see they were putting bronze bars. That are the bronze ropes around the hall and around the whole piece. Underneath the piece, big bronze rollers. For 20,000 of people, elephant could go far away, start pushing, pulling under the wood, maybe for a few centimeters a day. It was time for nothing and life for nothing. No labor, no strike either those days. But I assure one thing those slaves happily died for their God because if anything after death, more pleasant than their present. They were whipped during the daylight, chained at night. And uh, Hollywood made a movie about the slaves. In the 60s, Spartaco defended him. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we mentioned this matter a lot. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the Temple of Bacchus. We're about 200 meters away from it. You see the guy on the left hand side, with the blue shirt, blue jeans, and it gives you an idea of the scale. Three holes full, three other holes empty. Not to hold such weight, only to adjust. One had to send a piece on the other one because the piece will put the way that the pressure of the weight could kick the air out or gather it inside. Then simply the weight holding, like the standing ones you see. And this V letter be five in Latin, that the pieces were numbered. You might say the piece number five of a column. Huge numbers on there let's say what they are number five and this was copper did you say or brass in those tubes bronze this is the labyrinth and all the Indians see me they attempt it after taken by the Greek and know that the Greek key design which means for them the way of pleasure is closed and they can't walk happy enough or feel happy enough for the symbol of their the Romans last war too they cut the both sides and put the other face and begin the very swastika the whole piece you have seen it becomes like that one the whole piece. Absolutely right. Well, by Lady Turk, it was on that wall, Middle Ages, and it has been buried underground, and it was a military area. Room around the whole wall for the Roman officials. Now, in some of the rooms, there is machines for the restoration work. See our friend Mr. Packers. They say Hollywood is not uh, I mean, the same as a uh, movie, but in the Atlantis, on the continent, we think in the ocean. Mm. And they show many movies about that, and they say 20 things. Oh, Atlantis? Yes, Atlantis, yes. Yeah, yeah. And they say also, we studied it for, for, year, for 20, uh, 10 of years, we know only 10% of the pharaoh lives. Yes. There are too many secrets and too many things. Yeah. And science of antiquity is science of possibility, not 100% sure. Mm. Because you make it this year and you come in something, then you make another one, give you the contrary of this. Yeah, true. Not only, only back. This is Bacchus, the Bacchus, the Temple of Bacchus. There's Eden, getting his party on at Bacchus. festival that's going on at the moment. So how many seats? 3,000. How many seats? 3,200. Cars with their gods, goddesses, emperors, donators. Uh, you can see from here, sir, to the very end, which is more wide, that small part, with the back side, yeah. but all the rest original. This, this was to the ground with the earthquake 1759. If you remember with that famous asp on the snake on her bread, they were getting suicide with after they lost the war against the Romans. But the biggest snake symbolized 
the country Sudan in East Africa, the north of France and Poland, Egypt, but both countries known to the Romans as Upper and Lower Egypt. Small field of devil we go, this is the rich Romans donator who offer money to continue the building. Now, if you offer a room to a hospital, they put your name on the doorway. Now, they, if they offer money, they call it the same, same idea, but different way. That figure is Mark Anthony, the big Roman leader. Third over there, the winner of the battle of them, famous emperor of Papus Augustus. Take a look. His head damaged, and all hollow like lace down behind up there. Wow. Now, there is a question to be answered. The three of them were living in first century BC. In Bacchus Temple, second century AD, 300 years later, why right here? When the Emperor won the war on them, but he couldn't punish them as he wished, he discovered the, their death. Anthony suicide by his sword, he grabbed by her ass for a snake, and his order was given to the builders, to the temple going to build in the future, to put their fear between the God and God, to be as a lesson to the generation to come. This is the destiny for anybody there to be, to be in war against the Empire. The Roman Empire can't be full. These two dead, and this is their destiny. Let us see the wine hall, sir. By the way, you can see uh, Sarah, the Roman goddess of harvest, the wheat, you can see the wheat beside. Come to see the inside wine hall. That's for tomorrow night show. The size of this hall, you could say, wasn't for so many thousands, only for the chosen ones by the priests. So underneath the staircase, there is the one itself. Obviously, you should put the statue back. Five storage of priests for their god and goddess. Also, when they will make their Bacchanalian dance on the honor of the You can see a sir, carved with those two stones on the staircase, but the face later by the Byzantine. his visit and that showed the ground level before the excavations to that and everything was buried and because of that the plane didn't fall with the earthquake and because of that visitors were able to raise their names everywhere so high it is the end of uh, all what happened the most important thing I want to show you in Balbek as I promised the symbolic wall on the doorway which is the holy plant why because they don't believe in Bacchus born from a vineyard Brother with the god Pan, god of the Roman forest, is famous because it's half a human, half animal having goat legs. Gods, goddesses, grapes, grapes leaf. Grape leaf in the springtime and in the autumn time. Everyone see X, which is the symbol of life and fertility. Again, wheat, symbol of life. Opium or poppy, symbol of death. Rope of friendship. Every carbon has a meaning, and all of that you have it. I repeat, on all over the stones of Balbert on different sides. Better than that, the ceiling of the stone, of course. In the eagle's mouth, there is a snake which is the symbol of medicine, the key, which is the key of Mercury, the Roman god of commerce. They want to tell you if the eagle was the Roman symbol on their flag, that symbol carry in his mouth the wisdom, in his legs, the richness for the Roman people. To the right hand side, you have Cupid, the god of love. The of love, but that this time, this time having a gift of the fruit of the god Bacchus, which is a miracle gift, and there is a three kind of fruit in one branch. But the question is why Bacchus doesn't need the arrow of love? Because Bacchus, after the Greek mythology, not a god and not a goddess. Not male, not female, he's both. He's Arab Aphrodite. Ah, okay. Let's see that. So Bacchus, sure. This is the Mastodite. Uh, something important to know, up here, the continuing of the other that all the way around the same, except 1759 earthquake. That's 257 years ago, and that column on the same position. Even that color pushing the wall piece 10 centimeters in size and nothing coming to the wall. Another proof there is no air between the uh, stones. So, the Roman tile in all over the world is to be only three famous styles of column. The round column is the Roman Doric, fluted like these two, the Greek Corinthian. The square wall shape back here is the Egyptian Ionic. For the first and the last time in history, the three together in one building, and let us see. Uh, take the Venus, Come on, see Doric, it. Ionic, and Corinthian. Corinthian. Venus, goddess of love and the beauty, was built at the third.
ثاني سوري افضل ترانك باي ذا رومان امبور كاراكالا كاراكالا نوت كاليجولا كاليجولا 40 اي دي كاراكالا 211 تو 17 اي دي سانت باربرا بورن ان بالبيك اند تو سانت باربرا ان بالبيك هابن تو هير ذات فيموس ميركل شي واز بورن اون ذا 4th اوف ديسمبر اون شي جروت اب بيكيم كريشن ان سيكريت هير فادر واز دور اوف ذا وات بيجن اند when uh, in December this country is a Christian they escape at night but in December the weather is snowing icy mm. not for anything could grow from the earth and start with but the God for the sake of Santa Barbara make the wheat so high hiding and escaping mm. that's how we tweet or syrup of wheat in Santa Barbara day but the temple itself Venus was six small columns around it what you see over there with the scaffold to please now see the wood room is there plus underground tunnel <laughs> You really don't get the scale of it from a distance. It's huge. Absolutely huge. They must have worked like dogs, man. Well, Adonis, the famous Phoenician god of hunt, or god, killed by a boar, by a wild animal. So this is the car for a great Roman military portrait was buried inside, but his saver after the for Jupiter was Adonis. Okay. Arabic, Arabic history on the Roman stone, Mamluk's time, 13th century, saying, come to the builder of the castle, his name is Abdullah the engineer. Abdullah the engineer. Abdullah the engineer. Yeah. Over here. This is the unbelievable This is the oriental emperor. You see, this is the sixth Semitic oriental star. Goes back to Sam, son of Noah. From the six famous elements of the nature: sky and earth, thunder, water, fire, and air. Sun of Noah to the center. Besides, same star, different shape. Show you the four seasons. And here we see. Interesting with all these ideas that we take for granted and all come from here. You see, uh, you see around the snakes, the eye below remain, but the eye above destroyed. That's the ceiling of the altar of sacrifice of Jupiter. Incredible, absolutely incredible.